Going to war could affect a lot of people in New Mexico, including those at Kirtland Air Force Base. Today, Action 7 News reporter Aaron Hill flew along with the 58th Special Operations Wing to see how the military's top pilots are trained. This is the CV-22 Osprey. Tilt rotor aircraft unlike any other. Major Robert Meyerson flies one of them. Kind of a mix between a helicopter and an airplane. We can take off vertically and then fly at the same speeds as a turboprop aircraft. The Osprey utilizes these propellers that can rotate depending on if you need to take off and hover or fly to a mission. Now, because of the Osprey's unique capabilities, the military uses it for some of the most dangerous missions. It's uh, primarily used for the insertion and extraction of special operations forces into uh, denied locations. Here at Kirtland, airmen and women train to do just that. Today, President Obama asked Congress to authorize military force against the Islamic State, meaning some of these crews could soon be in that fight. The crews here are preparing for whatever they're called to do. and and to operate in whatever environment we ask them to go to. And officials say New Mexico is the perfect place to get that training. It's invaluable, absolutely invaluable what we get here in New Mexico. Colonel Dagvin Anderson is the commander of Kirtland's Special Operations Wing. There are things here that we just can't get anywhere else. And it's a combination, it's the altitude, the desert, the mountains. But Colonel Anderson says while the area is perfect and the equipment is top of the line, it's the people that make it happen. Hydraulic and fuel lines. From the crews on the ground, to the ones in the sky. Aaron Hilf, KOAT Action 7 News. Colonel Anderson says pilots typically train at Kirtland for four to five months, and a few months later, they could be flying combat missions anywhere in the world.